If this is your first time connecting to Asset Framework, known as AF for short, you may not know how to get started. Let me show you how to launch the AF client and connect to your AF server. We'll also configure your client's default AF database and configure a default data archive, since you'll most likely need to pull in some historical data. Let's start by launching PySystem Explorer, known as PSE for short, to access the Asset Framework server. From your client machine, PySystem Explorer is normally found in your Start menu in the PySystem folder. If PySystem Explorer isn't already installed, you may need to talk to your PySystem admin or IT department before proceeding, or install it yourself if you have access to the PySet Framework Client Install Kit at OSIsoft Tech Support Downloads and the rights to install software on your client machine. Let's use the 64-bit version, but either version should work for setting up your connections today. However, in the future if you're using Notifications 2012, you will need to use the 32-bit version of PSE, since Notifications 2012 is a 32-bit application. Let's go ahead and launch PySystem Explorer. It's possible your admin did not specify a default AF server during the installation of PySystem Explorer. If that's the case, this message will pop up. You will need to click Yes to continue launching PySystem Explorer. After clicking Yes, the PyAF Server Properties window will come up. Go ahead and wait there until we get to the section Connecting to your AF Server. If your PySystem admin did specify a default AF server, PSE will try connecting to it automatically. If that AF server only contains the configuration database, the dialog box here will show up. Go ahead and click No now, since I'll also be showing you where you can go to create databases at any time. If there are no databases you have access to see, and you don't have access rights to create a database, you will receive a slightly different error message, as shown here. If this is the case, you will need to contact your PySystem admin to get rights to create a new database, or to view any of the existing databases. Now that we're in PySystem Explorer, let's take a look at where we can set up connections to your AF server anytime you need to do it in the future. Click on the database icon in the top left corner of the screen. Here you will see that there are two main sections, an asset server section and a databases section. Let's start by configuring the AF server first. To do this, click on the ellipsis to the right of asset server. Here you can see a list of all of the AF servers currently configured for your client. The default AF server is marked with the check marks shown here. This isn't the AF server I want to use, so let's add a new one now. You can click asset server at the top left corner or right click in the white space here and select add asset server. For those of you I ask to wait patiently until we get to the section on connecting to your AF server, this is where you can jump back in. Assuming your machine can resolve the host name of your AF server, type that in here. This is the location where the Asset Framework Application Service is running. I'll add a second AF server to my client connections by using its host name. Click Connect to confirm there are no issues connecting. And then click OK. There are multiple reasons that the connection could fail. Here are some of the more common ones. If the hostname is not resolvable, you may have a DNS error as shown here. You may need to talk to your PySystem admin or IT department to determine how to best connect to that machine, for example, instead using the FQDN. If the machine does have a DNS entry on the network, but the machine is turned off, you may come across a TCP error. A TCP error can also occur if the AF server application is not running on the AF server machine. If you try connecting to the server and it prompts for credentials, you can try typing in your Windows credentials, since AF uses Windows integrated security. After three attempts, you may get the following error. This is most likely because the user logged into Windows and the credentials you typed in do not have permissions on the AF server. You will likely need to talk to your PySystem admin to get permissions to the AF server. Assuming you were able to connect successfully, let's make this our default AF server by right-clicking and selecting Set as Default AF Server. Now that we've configured our default AF server, let's create a new AF database and configure it as our default database. 
Depending on the security of your server, you may be able to see the configuration database and any other databases all stored in this AF server. For example here, I can see both the configuration database and a database called My First Database. We highly recommend that the configuration database is not set as your default database, as shown here with the black check mark. Click the New Database icon at the top left corner, or right click in the white space and select New Database. Type in a name and click OK. I would like to make this my default, so I'll go ahead and right click on it and select Set as Default Database. We've now configured our default AF server and the default AF database. As you start working in AF, you will likely need to access PyTags, which means you'll need access to the data archive. To configure the connection to your data archive, go to File Connections. Here you'll see the list of asset servers we configured earlier, but also data archives. During the installation of AF Client on your machine, it was required that a default data archive was specified, and you can see it here. You can add any other data archives you would like to access by clicking Add Data Server, or right-clicking in the white space and selecting Add Data Server. In this case, let's add a second PyData archive. Click Connect to test the connection, and then click OK. Let's also make it the default data archive, so next time you search for tags in AF, it defaults to this data archive. If you will be using an existing AF database, the client will automatically try connecting to any data archives needed to retrieve data, even if they haven't yet been configured here. As a note, you can also manage your list of AF servers here. All through PSE, we've configured your default AF server, created an AF database, set it as the default database, and specified a default data archive. Now that we're connected to the AF server and data archive through PySystem Explorer, we're ready to get started building your asset framework structure.